Hey, good morning everybody. Another day, another update to be made. Headed over to the bus right now to meet up with Pete. Got my little water pump back there in the box um, and our little wire inlet. So yeah, headed that way. I'll see you over there. bus looks a lot different now because I finally cleaned and organized this space. Finally, I've got all my tools right where I know where they are. Lots of space to work in here. Everything is looking great. I'm very happy about this. It's been a long time coming. So I think Pete will be happy also. He'll be able to access everything quickly clean as you go and get this plumbing done once and for all so yeah a few things we have to do today <clears throat> put an inlet box over there uh, cut into the side of the, the bus there we've got to figure out how to run all that without interfering with the wires shouldn't be too hard <clears throat> we'll come over here down there I've got to tee off that uh, copper propane line and go down into my uh, under storage cut it off here couple it in the back wall there with the one that we ran halfway down to the water heater put a valve in there cut off valve there <clears throat> hook this flare up here with a cut off valve from my stove get our shower valve installed and shower head uh, suspended there and uh, let's see, um, yeah, everything else is run. We've got our uh, fittings on the ends here of that and of that. And once the shower is done, that'll create a closed loop. And then these two pecs right here <coughs> build into the back or the top of this box going down with a, a shower outlet. So yeah, not too much to do. Not too extreme of a job to do. Uh, it's really a shame that my help that I had before didn't show up because they could have made some quick money helping me get this together, but I'm glad I got Pete now. So, <clears throat> I'll come out here and show you a little bit of my organization. This took me three days with uh, two days help from my friend Ryan. I've got all my tools in this area. Uh, all my stainless steel stuff for the roof deck uh, Hinges handles brackets things like that rope tape painting stuff um, Yeah on the other side in my belly boxes on the other side. I've got all my uh, <clears throat> All my installables that will go in the bus at some point Pete just showed up. Let's get this thing started Let's unbox this pump one-handed you would think they would put some bubble wrap around this 
deal with. Willow box. <clears throat> Sheer flow. Revolution 4008. That's a piece of mine right there. Instead of using some old piece of crap that's going to end up breaking on us or leaking. it here to fill our tank and then cut that off and it will be a pressurized system already figuring out our pump back there gonna bury it in my back bedroom wall and just have the diaphragm sticking out through the garage to service figuring out how much copper we need for our gas we've got our mixer valve just hanging here for now we've got enough elbows we're gonna cut a little bit more of this back to get that pex over there and we gotta drill through on this side of the tank to bring the propane up through my under storage Good times. All right, so I had to make another run to the RV parts place, and I got this uh, Sheer Flow made for this pump strainer. So that's gonna go there. Also got a push to connect shark bite check valve. It's gonna go there. Got some more adapters, some more elbows, some more crimps. Yeah that type of stuff. Whoever designed that is probably loaded right now. It's a really expensive stuff, but totally worth it because it makes everything a lot easier to understand and put together. Uh, what else? I got automatic changeover propane regulator two-stage so I can have two tanks underneath the same time, 15 pound cylinders. One runs out, it'll switch over to the other one. It's got two vents in it and a gauge.
Boy, we're in circles around these young bloods. And flip flops, he'll run circles around them. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful.
We want to get a custom hose, rubber hose that goes from here to here. Yeah. And then run run this, put this up here, secured. Yeah. And then this will be sitting here with a rubber hose coming like this around and up and into it. Perfect. And then out of here comes this and out of here comes that. With rubber hoses With as well. custom rubber hoses as well. Okay. Cool? Yep. You got a place to go through? Yep. Sweet. I heard the other side. Tell me when you get there. Yeah, well. Get gone. Let me see how much we got, and then we'll decide what we're gonna go through here. That's it. Nope, we're gonna make it. So we might as well just run home in peace. Okay. Okay, pull that out. Yeah, uh-huh. Easier uh -huh. said than done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you're ripe. Yeah, I get that way. <laughs> I probably am too, though. Can't talk. All right, so... I got a freaking road mess in here again after I just cleaned this thing out. Man, I had it so organized in here, and this is just crazy. So, I'm going to clean that up and get out of here. I, we could have worked into the night, but we got an early start this morning, so we're going to give her hell, um, hopefully tomorrow. And, yeah, create your own utopia. Start today, even if it's hard work. Peace.